I didn't see him till like 11.30, you know, after I talked to you guys before the game and I, you know, the trainer gave me a head top and said, hey, Lindo wants to play. <laughs> and I, I knew that was coming, you know, but it's one of those where I just needed to be smart, you know, especially going after a night, night game into a day game. Um, if it would have been a night game, then I was going to give him time to see how he was responding, but I wasn't going to take any chances. But I saw the face, obviously, he wanted to be there. Uh, but I said, look, I'll give you the first four or five innings off because I know you're going to come up uh, big and uh, just be ready for that. And he's like, all right. Um, so that was basically it. Not easy at all, especially for, like, like you say, a guy that plays every day, not used to coming off the bench. But uh, I told him, you know, it's like, hey, you're getting four innings, five innings off. And uh, he treated us. Um, and the situation came up, obviously, and he came through. But he, he says a lot who he is. Uh, as a player, as a person, and what he means to this team. You know, he's willing to put and sacrifice everything for, for, to help this team. And, and that's go, that goes a long way in that room and for the organization and obviously for the fan base. Byers put on a clinic on how you play the plate <laughs> on throws from the outfield. Uh, what did you think the job that he did on, on those, and oh, both him and Marte? Unbelievable. You know, two great plays, especially that first one. I think it was a short hop for him to pick it and, and put the tag on. Uh, Unbelievable plays, you know, and, you know, the conversations were the same because, you know, after talking to uh, MLB, obviously, we continue to teach these guys the same way we've been teaching since spring training, you know, uh, because that was the, the questions that they were asking. And look, baseball, crazy, you know, and then before you know it, two plays at the plate. And I'm glad, you know, we were able to make those plays. And uh, Marte, we know the arm, uh, but for him to just... Uh, stay calm and under control and, and, and finish the play. Uh, overall, uh, you know, a complete play there uh, twice. So uh, I'll, I'll say Christian Scott's going to okay. start on Saturday. Uh, and so for now, he's um, trying to give Savvy an extra day and some of these guys an extra day because of where we are, uh, you know, on, on, on the schedule. So, and then, you know, but we just got to continue to work with him. Yeah. Carlos, what are you expecting from Scott when he gets here? Uh, compete, you know, uh, go out there, be yourself. Uh, we saw it uh, one out in spring training, and we've seen it, what he's doing in AAA, you know. Um, just continue to attack hitters. Uh, he's, 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 got a, he's got a good makeup. I just want him to be himself and <clears> go <throat> out there and uh, be you. Just to clarify on Christian Scott, is, are you looking at this as a spot start, or does he have a chance to be in the rotation? We'll see. And we'll see. We'll see where we're at. Schedule and... You know, he's going to get the ball on Saturday, and then we'll see where we're at. Uh, well, we feel like he's ready. You know, he's ready. He deserves it. He earned it. The way he's throwing the ball, we've been talking about, you know, giving guys opportunity. And here we are because of not only with the schedule, but we feel like he's ready, and uh, he earned it. And ju just if I could follow up on Tony's, just right now, have you planned, is it a six-man rotation one time through, or do you think you want to go to a six-man rotation for a little bit here? Yeah, I think it's too early, you know. Uh, we still got, we're still going to have to have those conversations, uh, see where we are. Obviously, we got enough day after the next time through the, the, the order on the rotation, and, you know, we will have to make some, some decisions. But for now, he's pitching Saturday. I was going to ask a similar question there, but just to kind of further ask, on that note, David has talked a lot about the idea of development versus need. Is this a case of him pushing it, or was there that need? No, we've been talking about Scott for, for, for a few days and weeks now after, you know, watching what he's doing in AAA. So we, we feel comfortable giving him the ball and bringing him up to the big leagues and, you know, help us win ball games here now. The way he's, uh, you know, attacking hitters, you know, obviously the fastball plays, but the way he uses his pitches, his demeanor, you know, uh, you know, we've been following pretty close, and this is a guy like he's given up a couple of homers early in games, and then he's able to go five, six, and, and dominate. You know, so uh, that shows you that you know he can handle it. Obviously, this is a different level here. He's going to be facing big league hitters, but we feel like he's in a pretty good spot, and that's why we're giving him the opportunity.